I love Elecraft. I do, their radios are beautiful, but the MH3 microphone, this thing absolutely kills me. The microphone itself is almost half the size of the radio. What is this? Why is the microphone so big? So today I'm going to build a K6ARK miniature microphone designed with a beautiful little electret perfectly suited for the KX2. So this is gonna take some size and weight out of my pack. Let's get started. This is a pretty simple kit. First thing we gotta do is cut four pieces of wire to 30 millimeters in length and then strip the ends. Now it's time to get soldering. Electret is here. That over. And here is our jack. So we basically just need two mics, two connectors from ground, go like this, and then we'll need a wire from each of these leads to go over like that. I'm using Kester No Clean Solder. This stuff is lead free. It's not as bad for you. It's a little bit more expensive, but it works like a champ. I'm gonna use some No Clean Liquid Flux to go ahead and get my connectors ready to solder. And I'm going to start out with the three and a half millimeter jack. That looks like it has some thermal mass and I think it's gonna be the hardest thing to get connected up. I don't have a great soldering station, so I'm just gonna hold this in place with my Leatherman and see if that helps with the soldering. Oh yeah, no problem getting some solder on there. Go ahead and tack that on. And let's add one more wire to ground. Connector's all hooked up. So now, let's see if we can connect that over to the microphone. This should be pretty straightforward. We'll just go ahead and tack this onto here. Easy. And we'll tack this guy. Here. Even easier. All we need to do is tack the wire onto the connector. Okay. There's one. connection. How am I going to get these guys to go together? There we go. All right, that is not beautiful, but it does look a lot like the circuit diagram in Adam's manual. So I'm going to connect this up to the radio and see if it works. All right, that was some of the ugliest soldering I think I may have done. But I've turned on the monitor so we can plug this thing into the Elecraft and see if it works. I've set the microphone button to PTT only, and I've set the mic bias to on, and that's needed for the Electrat style microphone. So let's give it a shot. There's our little dead bug. All right. We saw the, uh, the TX come on, so that means that it did recognize it when I plugged it in. Um, I also have power turned down to zero, so I'm not gonna hurt my radio. So if I push the PTT button, all right, I get audio and this is a test of the audio system. Microphone test, microphone test. Well, that certainly works. Let's get it packaged up. I'm gonna put these wires up towards where the microphone will go. And then this microphone will go in here. Here's where the electric goes. I'm gonna hold both of those in place, and then this guy comes down here. 
with all of that remaining wire, it's carefully tucked up into the body. And if nothing shorts, which I don't think it will, I should just be able to take the top cover, place that on like so. You know what? It's just a tight fit. No magic to it, it's just a nice tight case. I'm gonna take that and screw that on on the bottom. And that looks like a microphone. All right, that was the whole build. We're back outside with the Elecraft MH3 microphone and comparing that to this ultra tiny, adorable little K6 ARK device. So if we look at the Elecraft MH3 microphone, that comes out to 144, 145 grams on the scale. And if we take the ARK microphone, that weighs in at a grand total of 10 grams. That's a pretty big weight savings, even if you include the cable itself, that only brings you up to a total of 21 grams. So pretty incredible that the cable's actually heavier than the microphone. So thanks for watching and thanks Adam for designing this beautiful little tool. I'm looking forward to getting it out on a mountain if I ever decide to take a break from Morse code.